Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to this card making project. In this episode we're going to make a card that's a real quickie. So for anybody that doesn't like my videos because they're too long, you might appreciate this one. The items we are going to use from Spellbinders, are, the first item is from the Flower Garden Collection and it's the Floral Panel Card. You get four dies in this collection and it, it is a real pretty card front you'll see that when we you know when we use it we're going to use a special birthday sentiment stamps my go-to product for sentiments from spellbinders so useful and we're also going to be using one of the spellbinders embossing folders called horsehair and um, this is a gorgeous design that can be used on so many of your different projects Everything I do use, I shall put on a detailed list on my blog with links if you want more information. And then, you know, you can always comment on my blog or on Facebook and I can get back to you there. But I can't get back to you on YouTube. So the card base that we're going to be using is slightly smaller than I normally use. And I shall show you this on our cardometer. So we normally look at the 7x5 inch card. But this is very nearly an A6. And I've got to admit, it was an A6, but I've just trimmed the top of it off. Because I wanted the card front, that you know, the die that we're using, I wanted it to fit my card. For any new viewers, this is my cardometer. I've designed it, um, made it a couple of years ago now, to be able to give you a perspective at home of what size of card that I use so that you get more of an understanding about what size it is. So this is our little card and as always even if it was a 3x3 three three card I would still use my bone folder to make sure I've got a good sharp crease along the edge. So we're going to start with the inside and the inside is a really pretty simple idea. I've embossed a piece of ivory cardstock and the ivory didn't quite match the um, ivory of the card outside. Well, that doesn't matter because I've inked it using two colours. Just a general um, dark brown. I think it was gathered twig, actually. It was a ranger's distressing. And then spun sugar as well. So it's a pink and a brown. And I've just inked it around the edge. And then I've cut an aperture. And the aperture that I've used is the aperture, the oval that's in um, our floral panel that we're going to use for the front. So I've used that to cut the aperture through the centre for the inside. And then I've just got double sided tape on the back of it. And when I say this was going to be a short and quick card, it is. It's just me chattering. So I know some people like a nice sharp, uh, short video and other people like a nice long one. Personally, you know, I just like to make the card. I don't look at the time normally. And if it takes 20 minutes, it takes 20 minutes. If it only takes eight, it only takes eight. So there's our inside. And we've got our aperture there. So for the aperture that I cut out, I cut it out and I stamped it with the words Happy Birthday from our special birthday sentiment stamps. I've taken it through my Xyron machine for the adhesive and then I can simply pop that in the aperture that we've made and that's the inside of our card finished. Such a pretty idea and nice and quick. I'm going to use my bone folder again for the edge and then for the front of our card my base layer is just a piece of ivory cardstock and I've inked it in two different colours, pink in each corner and brown in the opposite corners. And again, it was the same. It was, um, I'm sure it was gathered twigs and spun sugar. So those are the two that I used. And I haven't gone sort of over the, you know, right into the centre. I've not been really careful. I've just simply inked the corners. And I'm going to use, um, I've just added flat tape on the back so it'll stick to the card. 
then I've die cut the main panel from the floral panel set. I've cut it in a pearl ivory cardstock. I've inked it just in general areas. I started off, I just inked it with pink on the roses and then a little bit of brown and a tiny bit of green along the leaves. I've added pearls in each of the scallops around the edge and I've got it on 3D foam. Now when you look at it you would maybe think there's not enough areas to add 3D foam but there is. There's a lot of thick areas so you won't have trouble using the foam. So I'm just going to position that over our previous layer so that we can see the shadowing from our inked layer. Next, again I've done exactly the same as I did for the centre. I've die cut the scallop and I've stamped it with the happy birthday from the special birthday sentiments uh, collection. And then I've, did I say I've put it on 3D foam and I'm simply going to add that to the centre. So you can see the contrast between the ivory card and then the pearl card like so and then last but not least I've tied an ivory bow and I'm simply going to add a little bit of liquid glue and press my bow down there onto the liquid glue I normally do use 3D foam but this ribbon's a little bit thinner and I just wanted it's a little I wanted it to sit at the side of the sentiment rather than above it and that's our card finished oh look at that seven minutes so for all you people that get bored of me before we get to the eight minute marker this one is for you our front of the card with the ink in it makes it look even more 3D and the centre matches perfectly with our sentiment from the front I'm going to say it stands up nicely, but I don't want my bow to drop off. Stands up nicely. Hey, look, no hands. And it's just such a pretty card. Nice and quick. If you wanted to trim your card, you could trim it a little bit more. It will still fit in your 6x4 envelope. You're not going to need any extra padding because it's not higher than, you know, normal. You've still only got, you know, the one layer well the two layers with the sentiment but it's not there's not bits of it flapping off like sometimes when you make decoupage you've got layer and layer and layer so it's just such a pretty quick card and if you imagine wedding invitations all in white or all in ivory with a nice gold embossed invite on the front that would work so well so Everything I've used I shall put on the list on my blog. Please feel free to stop by and say hello on Facebook, um, on my blog, on YouTube. I just can't reply to you on YouTube. So any questions, it's my blog or Facebook. Please share. If you enjoy any of my videos, please share. Uh, please give them the thumbs up. I always forget to say that. So I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.